Right now, with warmer weather here, that means skimpier clothes, mm. and that includes tank tops, camis, bare backs, all of those. Some outfits that women should just not be wearing at <laughs> all. We people watch all the time. We see that stuff. Well, unfortunately, we're not all blessed with the knowledge on how to properly wear these items, especially with a bra. Mm -hmm. You know who I'm talking about, and still look good wearing it. So we hit the streets to find out some of the worst bra faux pas. I would probably have to say the too tight bra with the, the back fat being kind of bulging out. That's probably the worst. <laughs> is not wearing one when you need one. The, size, uh, the, the sizes are all wrong. They don't fit. I mean, they're uh, two cups too small and uh, they hang out all over. And the straps show, that's the latest thing now. Amazing. I mean, when I was growing up, straps never showed. And now it's uh, the thing to do. I will wear a bra on the outside you of my dress. You have to. Out of the miraculous from Victoria's Secret. Not realizing that it's on the outside. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Audrey, I think you might be starting a new trend. I was just going to say, it's called get ready in the dark trend. That's what happens every now and then. You do, Hey, as long as you got one on, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, it's probably not going to work on the outside, but you yeah. never know. It's right? comfortable, though. <laughs> but whether it's a racer back or one shoulder or behind you, wherever it is, Janae Luciani is here. She's the author of The Bra Book. And Janae is going to show us how to fix those common summer bra faux pas, including wearing the bra on the outside of the <laughs> dress like I had it on. Good to have you back. And thank you so much for having me. In honor of the segment, check it out. <laughs> Rhiannon and Janae both are showing their cleavage, oh, and yeah. I, yeah, if you flaunt, I got right, it. We said, it. Hey, hey, I'm so showing yeah. an amount of cleavage. <laughs> right. I was just saying, I don't like when every people let it all hang out, and you know, uh -huh. it has to be appropriate. Speaking of which, you know, summertime's coming. Yeah. You're gonna be wearing a lot of mm -hmm. nice, cute T-shirts, and some of them inside the home. There's different lighting, and it looks mm -hmm. like everything's covered up. You walk right. outside, and you can see the bra <laughs> straight through. This well, shirt. everyone loves the biggest thing now are those thin, nice, soft yeah. T-shirts, but you have to have the right bra, and everyone always talks about you know, the t-shirt bra being a big thing, but you really have to know what to look for. Okay. So our You can first see Amanda has the wrong bra yes. on in the first shot. <laughs> exactly. The problem is, you know, she has this sort of lacy, bulky thing on underneath, and you're really seeing all the bulges that you shouldn't see. Draws more attention to Exactly. Okay. So we put her in a nice, smooth, molded cup t-shirt bra from Simone Perel, and it's actually the Caressence bra, so it's aloe vera infused into the fabric, oh, wow. which is really? great for the summer because when you're hot and sweaty, it's actually keeping you fresher and it's going to make your bra last longer. Okay, well, so, she looks sting. great in the after yes. picture. You can yeah. see it looks all nice and smooth. Right. But the I have molded to, cup. It That's looks really good. I really mm -hmm. like that. But I have to put this out there because <laughs> uh -oh. if you see me walking down the street and you see my bra straps, I'm not trying to be fashionable, like the woman said in the piece. I actually, I hate strapless bras. You just yes. hate them. Yes, I hate them. I don't Every know why. Every woman has an issue with a strapless bra. They're the hardest thing to find. Mm -hmm. And especially now, we have all these great, like, off-the-shoulder tops. Everyone loves to show one shoulder. That's kind of a big trend from the runways. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the strapless bra. So for Dana, who in our before picture is showing her strap. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the faux pas. You know, the strap is hanging out. So I got her a great strapless bra, again, from Simone Perel. It actually has low-cut cups. So you see them, they have just enough coverage for her, mm -hmm. but you're not seeing it through her shirt. Um, a nice plunge that'll go with a lot of different necklines and a little bit of light padding. And that's $82, so a little bit of a higher price point. But really, with bras, you know, in a lot of, in a sense, especially with a strapless, you get mm -hmm. what you pay for. Is it comfortable right. though? That's what I She that's was actually problem. saying when she was putting it on, she's like, I feel like I have nothing on right now. This really? is amazing. Wow. And it's got silicone completely around it, which actually helps it adhere to you oh. and stay up. See, and I'm wondering okay. if the reason you don't like it is the same reason I don't like it, because you either feel like it's falling down uh -huh. or like it's, it's right. st you're strangling you right now. <laughs> the key <laughs> is, <laughs> actually, the key is for most women, go down a band size than you okay. would normally wear for the strapless. That's what I talk about in the bra book. Okay. So you can actually get that snugger fit. What if you have the, the plunging neckline? There's so many. Yeah. Dresses and shirts mm -hmm. that have the plunging neckline. You don't want yes. to show the bra through. What's a good bra for this? That's a big thing. Karen, we have her in her, you can completely see her bra in her plunging shirt. So I put her in a barely there custom flex light lift wire free bra. Believe okay. it or not, it has no underwire. So she's a little more comfortable in that for the oh. summertime. It's not as kind of hot rubbing against her. Mm -hmm. um, and it's showing you that the wireless can still be supportive and it has the nice plunge in the middle. The bridge, which is the center part of the bra, if that's too high up, that's where you're gonna see it. So that's why you look for that plunge. Oh, okay. So it's okay. kind of that V in the front. And this is actually under $22 oh, from wow. onehandsplace.com. Really okay. okay, well very nice. So, all mm -hmm. great tips and actually you. you have 
One last bra that was yes. a sports bra, and I'll just mention that one really yes. quick. The, what's the name of that? The Barely There Bandini? Yes, and Joanna. How much who, is that one? This is actually two for $26. Okay. She's in her own yoga line. She's oh, yoga. very cool. I love like yoga. That. It's okay. very cute. Mention that. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. All right, if you want to get more tips on finding the right bra, you can check out her book. It's called The Bra Book. It's full of a lot of good information, no pun intended.